The crypto markets are heating up rapidly. Bitcoin just printed a new all-time high and everything has absolutely started melting faces. And in the midst of this, Solana has bolstered impressive gains with many analysts offering their price targets for Solana, including $1,000 per coin. Can you believe it? Well, in this video, I'm going to analyze how that can happen so that you can make up your mind for yourself and give you some of my thoughts on this matter about whether this can potentially happen and what are my price targets. I'm going to explain everything you need to know in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis, has been a crypto holder ever since 2017. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And while there's some great opportunity to make money in the crypto markets, the absolute best way to make it long term in this space is to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish over at dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. So as always, nothing I'm saying in this video is not be financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy, sell, or hold any cryptocurrency based on this information. So what I want to do in this video is analyze the top price prediction for Solana in this cycle, which is $1,000 per coin. Because anytime somebody gives you a price prediction like this, you have to ask yourself why. So to answer that question, we're going to look at a few different factors. So first, we're going to look at it from a valuation perspective. Like what's even possible? Like could Solana be worth $100,000 per coin like Bitcoin? Absolutely not but could it be worth $1,000 per coin? Well, let's see. Then next, we're gonna look at it from a fundamental perspective. Is there actually a good set of reasons that would cause the price to increase to that level? And finally, I'll give you my unfiltered thoughts on the matter and what the potential price targets could be. All right, so let's get into point number one. Let's actually analyze Solana from a valuation perspective, okay? So if you look at the peak of the last run, Solana was worth about $260 per coin, all right? So some other metrics to understand was the total market cap of Solana at the time. So back then, the total market cap was about $75 billion per coin, all right? So if you take the total market cap, which is the worth of all the coins in existence, and you divide it by the number of coins in existence, which is about $75 billion, you arrive at the price per coin. That's the unit price, okay? So that's a really important metric when we're looking at this from a valuation perspective. Now, the other metric that I want to look at is the Solana dominance, all right? So basically, what does this mean? Well, it means the percentage of the total crypto market cap that Solana is worth. All right. So at the peak, the last run, it was about 3% just below. And right now, the time to record this video, it's about getting close to 4%. And so if you also use that metric and you compare it to the total crypto market cap, let's just say, you know, the total crypto market cap is $3 trillion and you apply that number like 3.7%, all right, and you just calculate that out, that will give you the market cap for Solana. And then you can also divide by the total supply to get the current price. So if you plug those in the spreadsheet from the past history, basically the total crypto market cap was this. You apply the dominance that gives you the historical Solana market cap, total supply, and then a rough price about $280 per coin. It's not quite 260, it's a little more, but it's close. All right. So if we take these numbers and we look at some future assumptions about what the crypto market could be and play around these variables, that can help us arrive at what our potential price targets are for the future. Now, in addition to that, we can compare it to other coins who have performed well in last cycles, one of those being Ethereum. So if I add in Ethereum's metrics here, basically this is the prior all-time high, about $4,800 per coin. I've got the market cap and total supply calculated here. But the other thing you want to pay attention to is the Ethereum dominance. So again, Solana's dominance at the peak of the last born was 3% and Ethereum's was 20%. So where I'm going with this is we expect the total crypto market cap to be much higher and probably Solana's dominance is going to increase at some point in this bull cycle. So let's see where that can head. Okay, so our next set of assumptions is that the crypto market is going to continue heating up well into 2025 and that at some point it's going to reach a total crypto market cap of $10 trillion. That's what many analysts are anticipating, okay? So basically, if we plug in a total crypto market cap of $10 trillion, that's ahead of the $3 trillion in the last peak, all right? And then we assume that, let's just say the Solana dominance, you know, only reaches what it was in the prior cycle of 3%, all right? And then you adjust the total supply for the current amount because you have to understand Solana has increased its total supply since the last run, right? If you go to something like CoinGecko and instead of looking at price, okay, you look at market cap, you can see that the market cap is much higher than it was at the prior peak of the bull run, despite the price not quite breaking the prior all-time high yet. That's because many more Solana tokens have been issued, and I have accounted for that in the spreadsheet right here. So here is the prior total supply, about 3 million coins, and now we're about 588 million coins. But anyways, let's go back to that. So 
So let's say the crypto market gets to be $10 trillion per coin. Solana dominance only stays at 3%, which is what it was the last peak. And those two things coincide. You factor in the new total supply. That's going to give us a price of about $500 per coin. Now, again, the Solana dominance is higher than that right now. So if the Solana dominance increases to a mere 4%, all right, so instead of 3%, 4%, and we actually reach $10 trillion total crypto market cap, that's going to bring the price to $679 per coin. And you can see how this progression continues. If it goes to 5%, that's $850. 6% is $1,000, okay? And you can it could potentially even overshoot that. You know, the 7% all the way up to 10% could be $1,700 per coin. Okay, and if you compare that to what Ethereum's dominance was the prior cycle of 20%, I didn't even include that in my sheet. I don't even think that's a possible scenario here, but we are seeing Solana gain some traction, and I do anticipate the dominance to increase some beyond this point at some point in the cycle. So let's look at the scenario for Solana reaching $1,000 per coin. Basically, if the crypto market cap reaches, you know, a total market of about $10 trillion per coin, if the Solana dominance goes up to about 6%, which is a little over a 50% increase from where it sits today, and those two things coincide, then at some point in time, Solana could cross $1,000 per coin. Now, there's a lot of different variables in this equation. These all have to happen at the same time. You know, we could reach a total crypto market cap where the Solana dominance is slightly above that or below that. And if you move any of these variables around, then these numbers change. But this does paint a possible trajectory for Solana to reach that hallowed meme number of $1,000 per coin. Now, you have to understand people also like round numbers. They like seeing those things resolve, which could add fuel to the fire. And while I do believe this is an ambitious goal, it is within the realm of possibility compared to Solana being worth like $100,000 per coin, like Bitcoin, it's just not going to happen. But the last thing I'll say about this, if it does happen, it's very possible that the, all these things only line up for a really brief period of time, perhaps even just a few weeks. All right. So point number two is let's look at, at the fundamentals for the Solano ecosystem. Because again, you have to ask yourself, why would the price appreciate? There has to be some momentum behind it that actually causes the price to go up. So the first thing I want to look at is the traction for the Solana ecosystem. So Solana has undeniably found product market fit, particularly among retail speculators in the crypto space. And you can see that reflected by the DEX activity on Solana, okay? So this has largely become a meme coin cycle. People are speculating like crazy on meme coins and a lot of that attention, mindshare utility usage is going directly to Solana, which is giving it a lot of momentum. So the Solana DEX share has gotten a huge slice of the pie compared to other chains. It's nearing 50% of the total DEX volume. There's lots of reasons for this. Again, most of the speculation is happening on Solana. Another reason for that is because the fees are much lower. People can buy coins for, you know, pennies. They can sell them really fast. And another big reason for this is this caused a lot of attention to flow into the Solana memes before they blew up. So... If you think about it, if you start having early meme coins in Solana like on 2023 and word gets out that a bunch blew up, it can kind of be a self-fulfilling prophecy to more and more activity happening on that chain. That's basically what happened. And we continue to crank out more and more memes and Solana's getting uh, the vast majority of that activity. So beyond meme coins, there's lots of other fundamentals behind Solana, okay? Basically, people want to try to find the outperformer of this cycle. I think a lot of people are viewing Solana's trajectory this cycle like Ethereum's last cycle. Okay, so Ethereum went from like $80 a coin all the way up to, you know, $4,800 per coin. And they want to see Solana do a similar type of thing. Basically, a technology bet that was underutilized in the bear market and is starting to get a lot of attention and really blow up now. Other reasons are, you know, Solana's a yield-bearing asset. You can stake it and earn passive income. And then finally, one big point that a lot of people are not talking about is a lot of sole cryptocurrency is getting locked up up into liquidity pools. So basically, like as you have all these meme coins pumping out left and right, you know, those tokens are essentially paired with sole cryptocurrency in these liquidity pools. And, you know, a lot of meme coins get die off and they're paired with sold these liquidity pools that's basically just burnt. It's just sitting there and it's not even going back into the circulating supply, which essentially puts deflationary pressure on the Solana cryptocurrency itself, not to mention the amount of people that are just but putting buy pressure on Solana so they can buy it to flip meme coins and other cryptos. All right, so let's move on to point number three. Let me give you my unfiltered thoughts on the matter. So as always, like none of this is supposed to be financial advice. Nobody's got a crystal ball to know exactly what's going to happen in the future. I always think about these things in terms of probability. So I, I think about what's the most likely thing all the way down to what's least likely to happen. It's a range of scenarios. So do I think Solana could hit $1,000 per coin? Yes, I think it is possible. Okay, now that would be probably on the upper end of my personal price targets for the cycle. Now, if, if it goes way beyond that and I'm proven wrong, great. 
I'm happy for you if you held Solana through that. You know, don't call me and say, hey, it went past your target, dude. I'm not trying to convince you to buy, sell, hold into crypto based on this information. However, I'm not personally banking on the fact that it's actually going to hit $1,000 per coin. So what are some more realistic price targets? So I think somewhere, you know, below that. So because again, there's so many different factors in this equation. Does the crypt total crypto market cap actually reach $10 trillion? Okay, that's the first question. Again, if everybody's talking about that, there's a tendency for things not quite to reach that full potential. So if you play these numbers and you know the crypto market cap doesn't quite reach that and the Solana dominance does increase to 6%, then you know maybe that puts Solana at the 6 to $700 range per coin. Or said a different way, you know if the total crypto market cap does reach $10 trillion or pretty close and Solana you know maintains its current dominance at around 4%, then that could still put Solana between $5 and $600 per coin. And with all this thing being said, you know my gut tells me that a more conservative estimate for Solana this cycle is somewhere between the $5 and $700 range. It could outperform beyond that, but it would also surprise me if it did not hit $500 per coin. Now, finally, I'll say this. You have to understand the future is not programmed. We have to always think about these things in terms of likelihood. We're probably going to experience another crypto expansion well in 2025, but you know, crypto doesn't exist in a bubble. If we have some ma major economic event, some huge global event that causes all markets to panic, crypto is not going to be immune from that, okay? And if that happens tomorrow, this very well could be the top of the entire crypto market for quite some time. And so there's no guarantee that Solana even hits $500 per coin if everything starts going down tomorrow. So you always have to take that into consideration when you're looking at the risk assessment of this, I'm talking about this based on a set of assumptions that we do continue on this trajectory, that we do reach much higher market caps, and that Solana maintains a certain market share based on that ratio. And finally, like I said earlier in this video, even if we do reach these high prices per coin on Solana, the crypto market's incredibly volatile. And even if Solana reaches $1,000 per coin or more, that might only stick around for a few weeks before the price starts trending down. All right, so that's an overview of how Solana can hit $1,000 per coin and all the other possible price scenarios on the table. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Is Solana gonna hit $1,000 per coin? Am I totally wrong? Is it gonna go way beyond it? Not even close? I wanna hear from you. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below and subscribe. And while there's definitely some good opportunity to make money in the crypto markets, the absolute best way is to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer. So if that's something that you're interested in, then how can you get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you went to the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappadiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.